Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. I had some, tom I was doing some cooking earlier with some tomatoes and I had some here that just have some bad spots and there's a little bit too overripe. So I figure I do not want to waste anything. So I am going to take these tomatoes and make a cut in them and basically just kind of see if I can get the seeds out of them here. Just kind of milk the gelatinous stuff, I guess you would call it up, the meat of it. And that's just about it for this one. So what I end up with are the seeds in the sauce here. And we don't want to mix this with any water. So I've still got a couple seeds in here. Let me do a little better job. Don't want to mix with any water. And we'll cover this for three days and we'll go ahead and just set that aside. I will uh, put that in the compost pile in a little while. This one's got a little bit of a real bad spot in it. So let me see if I can get around that. Okay, so I have went ahead and I took care of the second tomato there. And there's not as much juice as I had really thought that there would be there. So I'm going to put it in a smaller container here just so that it sits there a little thicker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this at room temperature, around 70 degrees or so. I'll go ahead and cover it just so nothing gets into it, and we're gonna let it ferment. So the fermenting process will uh, take the gelatinous stuff off and remove any germination inhibitors that would happen. So that will take about three days. What we wanna do is stir this up about once or twice a day. Uh, each day for the next three days and then at that point we'll go ahead and we'll add some water to it uh, I'll probably with this only being about a quarter of an inch high I will probably add almost three quarters of the way up here and I'll shake it and the in most cases the viable seeds for tomatoes sink to the bottom and bad seeds and your junk floats to the top so then I'll grab a spoon and spoon it off and I'll do that several times, trying to get as much out as possible. And then at that point, I'll go ahead and dry them and uh, store them for next year. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and I will come back in three days when this is fermented and continue with the video and we'll go on from there. So these are the tomato seeds here. We I put the saran wrap with a rubber band around it on 9-1 and labeled it. Today is 9-2 or it is Friday, so I'm going to uncover these and hopefully you can see that. If you notice there is like mold on top of it and that is a good thing. That means that we're starting the fermentation process. So what you want to do is just come in here and give it a quick stir. Do this once or twice a day. So I'm probably only going to get it done once today. And at that point, cover it back up. And we're covering it up just so nothing gets in it. No flies or bugs or ooh, we're not growing anything else in there other than the mold that is naturally going to come. And we'll set it aside till tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm back with the tomato seeds here. I spent... Uh, uh, it's been a couple of days. I have stirred this once or twice in a hurry, but haven't done any more videotaping. So today I'm going to take the seeds out. And let me take the lid off here. We can see there's lots of mold and stuff growing on it. So what I'm going to do is fill this up. I have a glass of water here. Fill this up three quarters and give it a little bit of a shake. settle down for a minute and then once it's settled down I'm gonna go ahead and try to dump some of it out here and if you'll see we got a fair number of seeds on the bottom so I'm gonna do that again Good stir and shake in here. And the whole idea was to ferment and 
get the inhibitors from this thing from the seeds from germinating and also get all the uh, extra tomato stuff off so I'm gonna have to make a run to the sink here and do a dump on this because I'm running out of space be right back okay we're back so I'll do another dump We're getting clearer and clearer here. Whoops, I need some more water too. Okay, try this again. Fill it up. Stir. Let it settle down just a bit. Lost a couple seeds on that one. I didn't wait long enough. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to take these seeds and, yes, you can see this. So I'm just taking and spread them out on a paper towel here. And I'm going to let them dry just like this. And tomorrow, after they're dried a little bit, I'll go ahead and spread them out. Oops, keep the junk water off. Uh, I'll spread them out a little bit more. I don't want to mess with them too much right now. They've been soaking in water, or they've been soaking in their juice for quite a while, so they're very soft. And if I, the more I mess with them, the more chance of mangling them and have them so they won't produce. But that. Uh, I'll probably do another shot of the video tomorrow just showing loosening these up and maybe packaging them. Uh, actually, I'll probably let these sit for a couple of weeks so that they fully 100% dry and then I'll package them. So for today, that's it. At this point, actually, it is not it. I'm going to label these. So these are striped tomato seeds. Today's date is 9 6 16. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, I am back here. It's the next day. So today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Boy, these holidays messed me all up. We just had Labor Day. So uh, these sat overnight and dried. However, they're still clumped up a little. So you can see there's a clump of them right there. So what I do is dig the clumps off. And I just give them a little bit of a roll here. I don't want to push down too much, and that will separate them. And there's some more. And just give them a little bit of a roll and until I get separate seeds there. So once I get them all separated, what I'm going to do is right on here, striped tomato. Six sixteen. I'm gonna go with yesterday's date, which is when I was working on it. I will turn this bag inside out. So the bag's already labeled. I'll turn it inside out. What I'll do is I'll put the individual seeds in, and then I will put this down in my work area downstairs where all my other seeds are. So it's cool and it's dry, and that will allow these seeds to dry out. And I'll leave this bag open for about a month. And then after a month, I can seal it up. I don't want to seal it up too soon because then I risk growing mold and losing the seeds. But uh, at this point, I just want to get them downstairs about where they're going to go. So I, will, I won't waste a whole lot of video time while I'm separating these. It might take me 10 minutes or so to do. And then these will go downstairs, sit for a month. After that, I'll seal it up, put it with my other seeds, and it is good to go. So... That is how you store tomato seeds from one year to the next. Do me a favor, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The more subscribers we have, the better it helps our results. Also, uh, if you haven't checked out our blog post, please check out greatescapefarms.com. We have lots of articles there that don't hit videos, and we also have a podcast there. So if you're in the car a lot and you're getting tired of radio and this time of year, all the if you're getting tired of listening to all the politics and all the BS on the radio, uh, 
download a, po a podcast, learn something while you're driving, and it, it make, makes, a, at least for me, a lot lower blood pressure so I don't listen to all the politics and all the other horrible news and everything else going on. So again, that's all located at greatescapefarms.com. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.